Good evening, everyone. And thank you all so much for attending this wonderful event. First, I'd like to thank the entire team at Sustainable Westchester for inviting me to say a few words here tonight. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to connect with this incredible organization and to commend the work that you do each and every day to make Westchester a better and more sustainable place to live. Tackling the climate crisis is among the biggest and most important challenges our generation will confront. And taking bold climate action has been one of my biggest priorities in Congress. The stakes of this crisis could not be higher. The fires, floods, and extreme weather events that we've experienced in New York State and across our country in the last year alone have shown us clearly that the crisis is already underway. We've also seen how black and brown communities and low income communities are disproportionately impacted by climate disasters. We must act now to address this ongoing crisis and bolster protections for our most at risk communities. As your representative, I've been pushing hard for our federal government to make massive investments in clean energy infrastructure. I'm a proud co-sponsor of the Green New Deal, which sets forth a vision for what our economy can look like if we actually begin putting people over profits and prioritizing the health of our citizens and our planet. I also help push for more comprehensive climate provisions in Build Back Better, which I am so proud to say passed the House last year. In recent months, as the conflict in Ukraine persists, it has become clear how important it is for this country to become energy independent. But realizing the goal of energy independence and widespread sustainable infrastructure will only be possible with the help of folks like you. In New York State, buildings are the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions, accounting for about one third of the state's total emissions. Clearly, we can't achieve New York's climate goals without investing in new energy efficient ways to power our buildings. In fact, to reach our goals, we need to improve and decarbonize up to 2 million buildings statewide by 2030. Sustainable Westchester and other organizations run outreach programs to offer a streamlined path to improved energy performance for property owners. Replacing on-site combustion of fossil fuels will remove pollutants and minimize safety hazards. When we improve our buildings, we are increasing property values, making healthier spaces and investing in a more sustainable future. Some of the most important work is done on the local level. That's why this Congress, I'm proud to have secured much needed community project funding to replace the boiler in Port Chester's Village Hall with a geothermal heating and cooling system. I also delivered funding to the Peekskill Housing Authority to revitalize 96 units in the Dunbar Heights apartments with energy efficient appliances. I'm also a proud sponsor of the Energy Efficient Public Buildings Act, which would incentivize state and local officials to make energy improvements in public buildings, as well as the Green New Deal for public housing, which outlines a plan to retrofit, rehabilitate, and decarbonize the nation's housing stock. I'm working to invest in communities with good paying union jobs overhaul our energy infrastructure and create healthy communities across the country before it's too late. I'm so grateful to Sustainable Westchester for giving this community the resources to make environmentally conscious changes in their own lives and for always pushing our community to invest in a greener future. It's an honor to be your partner in Congress. Thank you so much.